Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back, thank you so much for joining me today, I hope this video finds you well, if you're new, hello, hello, hi, my name's Jo and I do nail stuff, she does stuff for nail stuff, and the stuff she does for nail stuff, we nail stuff, and stuff for nails, gotta start <gasps> breathing. there <laughs> can't do that i'm doing it um, i wanted to try these new aurora nails that are going about i was going to do it on different size tips but i don't show you all of those because some of them just turned out to be a big old mess um so i'm taking these things they're like angel paper but are they even thinner maybe they're sort of foil nail foil thickness or maybe even a bit thinner um, and some of them are clear um, and they're iridescent, so they glow different colours. So I got this set sent to me uh, from Diamond Glitters, but that was a long time ago. This is the first time I'm using them and they don't do them anymore. So I'm sure you'll be able to get them on Amazon. I'll tell you what, I'll try and find a link and then I'll put it in the description. How's about that? So I'm going to paint sheer pink. I'm going to do two coats of sheer pink. On these no reason other than just to try and mimic a natural nail bed so just forget that that's that's not part of it uh, and then I'm topping them well I suppose it's not topping is it I suppose you would put a base coat down ignore the sheer pink that's the natural nail base coat and then a top coat and I know I'm uncomfortable about this too you're not alone um, and then we are going to cure that and I'm going to burnish in some what pink unicorn pigment I think I do a different one on the other one so I'm taking this and I'm going to burnish this into this one there you see there you go um I'm just using my finger you can use a silicon tool if you want to be fancy pants about it um, <laughs> this aurora nails thing isn't new lots of different things are called aurora nails these used to be called aurora nails just as is like that um but the the products that are used in this new trend i'm doing the air bubble quote bunny things um it's not new to nails it's just the way they're doing it the technique is a bit different how does it turn out well you'll see we had to make some changes uh, so this one is the, was that the fuchsia mirror pigment, chrome pigment, fuchsia, purple? I think it was the fuchsia. <laughs> I'm so good at this. Um, and I'm going to burnish that on as well. And then I'm going to measure up some of this um, angel paper. I'm going to call it angel paper. I think it's what it is. But I've got some that's a lot thicker. Like I say... I'll find a link. I will go that extra mile for you. Um, so I've measured it roughly the size of the nail. I'm putting some super base down. They use Builder Gel in all the videos I watched, none of which were in English, not even English alphabet. Um, so subtitles wouldn't... Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, well. Um, but I'm going to try it with uh, gel polish first. So I've just taken super base. I've done a thick line down the centre very thin coat all over, thick line down the centre and I'm placing this that I've cut out. I've softened the corners on it and I've not cut it the whole size of the nail and I think that's why we put the Aurora pigment on first. Well no, I suppose it's to give it an extra effect. I'll go into more detail as to my thoughts when, you know, when we've done, when we've got one under our belt. So I've placed that on there and what, what you're aiming for, and this is why I don't like it, look, you've got the nail, focus, and then this great big kind of tunnel full of gel and then this angel paper which is what they're doing in these videos um so that you get this angel paper on there without any cracks or creases or you know uneven bits um and that's how you're going to do it by putting that sort of column of gel down the center letting it sit on that and that's going to be its support to keep it crease free crinkle free if you try to press it flat onto the nail, you're going to get some creases. So I've topped that, I cured it like that, and then I've topped over it with Super Base, which is a rubber base coat. 
And instead of wiping and buffing, I'm just going straight in with another coat of diamond gloss. I'm following what the video showed me and we get the same results as the video, which is a thick ass nail. Um, and now we top it with diamond gloss and I'm burnishing some more of the Fuchsia Mirror Pigment Chrome. It's pigment. <laughs> um, and then we top this, obviously. We need to give it a bit of a file first because this final top coat won't have anything to grip to otherwise. So we're going to gently file the free edge um, and a bit of the sides as much as you could on a client sidewise. Um, and then we're going to top again. And the, the thing with this is, and the same thing will happen with the next one, it is the same result as these videos I've seen, unless I've been watching the wrong videos and this isn't what the people are asking for at all. Um, but where you put this hump of, ge of gel that you then rest the angel paper on, that hump goes all the way to the tip. And I, they do cut it a bit smaller than the sides. Obviously you need to seal it in, but it goes right to the tip. So you need to cover that and to, you need to cover it with more gel. So the tip's just thick, it's just thick and it's nasty. Um, a quick tip here, if you want to get the paper to curve a bit, sort of fold it in half, or don't crease fold it, and then just roll it and it curls up and it will um, rest over, your, over the nail, um, more curved as opposed to flat. You see, you know what I'm trying to do. I know you do, you smart people. Uh, so I'm now taking the one that's got the pink unicorn and I'm going to do the same. Why do I do the same? Do I must do something differently? Was I doing the same thing and expecting different results again, Joseph? Oh no, I do do something differently. I So I'm cutting this piece again, again a bit short and it's not going to go all the way to the sides because we do need to seal it in. Um, I'm just softening the corners. Um, just cutting them into sort of curves so they're not sharp edges and I'm taking the first base this time which is a normal base coat so it's not thick um, it's a lot runnier I just said that um, and I'm trying to do it this way I thought using the super base was creating too much of a hump that needed then covering and if you're not going to be doing a builder build a gel overlay on it then it was too fat so I thought let's see if we can just do it with a thinner base coat um, but it did create some more crinkles but I'm going to put that shit in the lab see what happens I am now using super base but because our hump isn't so big there's not so much to cover it's still thick at the tip though because you do still have that bit of a hump that goes all the way to the tip to create this you know smooth angel paper sitting um, and you need to cover that somehow. So I think builder gel, probably the way forward if you want to do this column of gel and resting the angel paper on, do it with builder gel because you can then create, you know, a high arched, um, a high apex. Um, it's still, you're not going to get away from having a thick tip um, if you're doing it this way. So that's it just done with regular base coat um, I'm not putting on another uh, chrome mirror powder on top. I was done with that. Let's try something else. Uh, so I'm taking Builder Gel now. Again, I've done a couple of coats of sheer pink just to mimic a natural nail. So this is how I would do it on a natural nail. I'd do a very thin coat of Builder Gel because we are going to put some top coat on. And I don't want the first thing to be on your natural nail, a top coat. It just it just doesn't sit right in my head. It's not, no. The rest of it, everything else is doomed if you're gonna start with a top coat. So I'm going to sandwich it between these builders. So cured a very thin layer of builder, then cured a layer of top coat, and I'm burnishing whichever pigment just came up on the screen. I'm terrible. Pink unicorn, I'm gonna go with. Was I right? Only you know, because I wasn't looking. <laughs> uh, and I'm now measuring this to size. I'm actually going to cut this quite a lot smaller. Um, and again, sort of cutting the corners off, just softening them, like, like the teacher used to make you do in photography, you know, so people didn't slice their fingers open and sue the conference school. Um, 
I've done a builder gel layer down the center and I was trying to get this because I'd curled it between my fingers and it was too curly now. So I was kind of trying to balance it on there with some nippers and a cuticle stick, like MacGyver. Um, and then letting the gel underneath, you can just make out there the gel because you don't want it to have a big air bubble under it because that just, that's not going to be good at all. So I'm trying to spread it out, but not spread it out. I know it's a pain in the ass. Um, so spreading that gel out so that it covers everything, all the angel paper, um, and also so that it sticks to the sides, but doesn't have any air bubbles underneath. So again, you have this, you know, shelf of gel with something sat on top and we're gonna have to cover this shit, which is why the whole thing just looks thick. Have I been watching the wrong videos? Is this really the trend? Anyway, um, so again, we have this tunnel of gel and now we're just going to put a shitload of builder gel on. Now, don't judge me on my builder gel application here. I was watching that documentary on Netflix about the Yorkshire Ripper and something interesting was happening and I was not looking at the nail at all. I thought, I've done this a million times, just do it and watch what I'm doing and then looked back and thought, that's a disaster. Um, but again, it's thick at the tip because we've got to, we want the tip to be the thinnest point and if the tip is thick, then the thick, the, thick, the bit that's normally the thick point is gonna have to be super, super thick. I realized I'd gone too thick though down the side, so I'm wiping some off, um, putting that in the lamp and I'm going to wipe and buff. I just took a small break <laughs> and I looked on the interwebs and on vogue.co.uk this is this is what they're doing they're doing this shelf of thing and they're cutting it soft around the corners to get this kind of big halo that goes around your nail but still looks okay from there oh no look at it from the side there it's a big thick disaster and all the pictures I've seen online, they are thick. They, they're not, they haven't got a nice apex and I see curve or anything. They're just thick and flat. So yeah, this is how you can do that. This one I've not done a very good job of at all, but that's how it would be done, I guess, with Builder. And then again, putting more pigment on top. Um, I suppose I should have focused more on the shape of the angel paper cutting the corners nicely so you do get this kind of halo but yeah it's we're going to do it differently now we're going to do it the way that it's always been done because the finished result you know it might look cool from the top those yeah that looks cool any other angle it's just a fat ugly nail but if that's what the client asked for then fantastic you've done a great job <laughs> But they are, they're thick, this tip here, so the tip is, you know, where you want it thin, but it has to be thick because you've got this tunnel of gel, so the rest of it has to be even thicker. It's just, I don't personally rate it. Let's do it in a way that looks nice. I filmed another one, so I'm squeezing this in. I did this at about two o'clock this morning. <laughs> I saw another video of someone who managed to get it flat-ish. It was creased, but it was flat, so I'm copying this. Um, I'm taking the apricot builder gel that build, builder, why can I not say this? Builder gel, builder gel this time. I don't know why, just fancy to change. And I'm sort of wiping the left and right to kind of keep the bulk of it in the center. I'm not, um, like I say, 2 a.m. I wasn't trying to go for some perfect, you know, overlay. Uh, and then I'm taking this, so I've cured the builder gel and I I thought I cut this out quite close to the shape. Clearly I did not. <laughs> but she used a ruler in this video. Again, it was one that didn't have an English alphabet, so I'm afraid I don't, I don't know who or how or what. Um, but she used a ruler to measure the nail perfectly she measured the size she, and then she cut it she drew it on the angel paper cut it out perfectly and then pressed it on there she still had crinkles like this so she did this she cut a little v out um to help I'm it gonna throw this out the window mm, 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 mm. <laughs> 
is this moving or is this moving or is this moving? Who the f is? Um, to help it lay flat, I this was just about 20 minutes of me effing and jeffing at myself. You can get the f off. Like so. Oh dear. F off. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? So I spent a significant amount of time trying to press this down, making little cuts in it so it lay flat, and then I gave up. I just put it in the lamp as was, and then we're going to encapsulate it with the clear builder gel. Builder, builder. Try and say, I try and say the L, builder. Whereas I suppose builder, 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 builder. Now it doesn't even sound like a word. I'm encapsulating this, so there are, a bunch of crinkles in it but it's you know the attempt was to get it to sit flat just a big old sheet of it um, without doing that ghastly gel tunnel um, so now I'm encapsulating it and I'm going to hold it upside down for a sec and then cure oh Anna Anna I've just seen a really cool picture in a Korean magazine oh is it aesthetically pleasing from every angle? Nope. Do you know how it's done? Nope. Is it thick and fat and of nail text nightmares? Yep. Let's get that shit trending. Great, fantastic. <laughs> and then I'm going to wipe and buff and there's some big holes in it. I've sped this up because I was angry when doing it and I was angry when editing it. You can see my angry strokes. So I have now top coated with diamond gloss and I'm going to burnish in some purple mirror chrome. I didn't pop any um, of the chrome powder, the pigment underneath the angel paper this time. I'm just doing it on top as per the video I saw. Um, yeah, I've got big air bubble holes in this. <laughs> Never mind. So I've popped the purple mirror chrome on and then I'm topping with my angry looking brush strokes. <laughs> And so I was just doing as the girl did. She did this, I did this. She put it on like that, I did that. She cut, I did that. She blew her nose, I blew my nose. And I think the end result is you only really see the glowy bits where there are crinkles. So realizing at this point, get the angel paper on however you can get it on and you'll get glowy bits. Um, so let's get back to the other voiceover. <laughs> but isn't fat. So, this will be the builder way, um, ignoring the fact that I've got coats of sheer pink on and just mimicking a nail bed. So I've done a thin coat of builder and cured it. I'm now doing a coat of diamond gloss, of course, of course, la la la. And I'll cure that. And then again, I'm going to add some unicorn pigment. The other pigment, the chrome mirror, pigments. Have I said this already? I may have. They're sheerer and a bit more see-through, um, but I preferred this kind of full coverage um, pigment. And it does mask that you haven't covered the whole nail with this paper. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut some strips and we're going to do it strip ways. I've just spent about half an hour trying to find a video of me wiggling nails when I had long nails and I did this um, angel paper stuff. And that was about five years ago. So it's not a new thing, this stuff. It's just this new way of doing it that whoever decided it should be a trend, guarantee they're not a nail tech. They don't actually have to do it and they don't have to look at it and go, that's too thick. That shouldn't be there. The apex is wrong. You can't do this. You can't do that. It's too thick there. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so I've popped a layer of blah, 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 builder gel, just a thin coat. And I'm adding these strips. I have curved them at the top just to go a little bit with the um, cuticle shape, but I haven't curved them at the bottom, I don't think. And I'm just laying them in they're so fiddly and they're so static you should see if i zoomed out my desk was such a mess i had like a wall of just base and builder and top and sticky stuff everywhere bits of this all over the place stuck to me it was yeah uh, so i'm wiggling them about with my uh cuticle stick 
just to get them where I want them and make sure that they're not hanging off the edge. But those bits where I poked them in, I could have I could have cut them to a better shape, but I just tucked the ones on the left and right underneath the center one so that there wasn't big flappy bits. Um, and then I cured it and I'm encapsulating it with um, clear builder gel. Uh, and then I don't think I go over this with another um, chrome just because it dulls it a bit, I think. So that's it now. I'm going to file and buff um, and we'll be able to see that just doing it this way instead of trying to get one big piece smooth by building this kind of gel tunnel um you know you put them on like this you can file and shape it and it's not going to have that horrible you know just big long thick nails are supposed to be thinner at the tips um extensions enhancements should be no thicker than a credit card at the tip so that other technique you just you won't get that unless you cut it really short but then even still, no. <laughs> I've already decided, no. Um, so I've just filed and shaped that and I'm topping with diamond gloss, of course, of course. And so the angel paper does have a bit of a wiggle in it. It's not perfectly smooth. Um, so it kind of gives you a little bit of an illusion that the nail's not smooth, but it is, you can see from the side. Um, that is smooth, it's not thick, it's not bulbous, it's quite natural um, and you're still getting that nice glowy look without this whole, you know, ridge shelf. I just can't, I just, no. So I've now decided I'm not doing it that way. The shelf is out, goodbye gel tunnel. I'm going to do it this way in strips with gel polish because not everybody uses builder gel. So let's nail this with gel polish. So we've done color coat. I think I only did one because this color, Bora Bora. Oh, look at it. If I was a color, I would marry that color. Mm, that's a lie. It would probably say, I'm not like other colors. And then you'd find out it'd been on brain with red the whole time. <laughs> so we have done a coat of diamond gloss over the blue and cured it. We have burnished in some purple mirror pigment and I'm now taking this angel paper it had a kind of purpley blue I mean it goes all colors um, and obviously it goes different on different colors but it was predominantly blue so I've picked that one I'm going to measure up the size the better you measure this bit and size and shape things obviously the better it's going to turn out um, but I was kind of going hopefully for something quick quick and flat and not fat. Uh, so I'm using the first base, no builder, no super base, no great big column of gel tunnel madness, just regular first base. Um, and I'm going to plonk, plop that on there and then wiggle it about with my cuticle stick. I haven't cut, I haven't curved the corners of this one, but I do cut these at an angle to match the shape of the nail and then go straight ahead and put it on the wrong side. <laughs> An idiot, thought I was being really smart, um, but I did see the error in my ways. Uh, I tried to flip it over, but that wasn't happening. So we popped it on the other side uh, now. Uh, and then just where I've cut those at an angle, it kind of comes in with the shape of the nail there. So the more time you spend doing that sort of thing, tailoring it, um, then the better it will look, but it's just so much easier than the other way. And I quite like this way because the lines between them, even if you put them really close to each other, um, kind of give a more, you know, like a, like a diamond cut, you know, it gives it these sort of edges. I'm doing stuff with my hand, I'm making harsh edges, but you can't see, I don't know why I do this. Um, and it kind of looks, yeah, it gives it facets. So I'm adding some thin strips down the side. And whilst doing this, I had an idea. It's probably been done, but I've, you know, I've not seen it. I had an idea and oh my goodness, it is so beautiful that I'm not going to show you. <laughs> I'm not going to show you in this video because I thought I'll, I'll dedicate a whole video of, of the thing that I, I, I came up with, but probably already exists. Um, so, and it's using this sort of stuff. 
Uh, so I'm popping that in the lamp. Just check to make sure before you put it in the lamp that all the bits are sticking down. There was a bit sticking up, so I quickly um, uh, pushed that back down before um, curing. And then I'm going to top with super gloss. So you could um, double top with a regular top coat, but a rubber top coat is going to work best. Um, and then I think that's it. I don't add any more pigment because although it does with the, you know, the whole trend thing where they plonk it in the middle, I suppose putting the pigments does disguise from the fact that there is no paper either side, but we're not trying to disguise that at the moment because we have got paper to the sides, but also it, it's, we've, we've changed our minds. We're starting our own trend, which already existed. Let's bring it back. Let's resurrect it. Let's take this trend and change it to this one here. Oh, and this is it. Not under the light. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. But yeah, it's existed for ages um, doing it this way um, or just doing more, more sort of cutting shards as opposed to strips. We would do th thin shards over nails look really cool or the one with the video that I can't find um, was shards over glitter. Um, so this one is electric pink and I'm going to do the same with the gel polish but I used um, this paper and it didn't show up very well but it kind of worked in our favour because you don't see the paper, you just see the glowy bits which was quite cool so I suppose it's worth depending what look you want to go for, um, checking what it's going to look like over it. But you can't really tell until it sits on it wet, until it's really touching it. So I don't know. F you, I'll let you figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> I've done enough. I've been editing this video since about 11 o'clock this morning. It's now 20 past 10 at night. Um, and I've still got like one, two hours left of editing after. Anyway, you don't care. So I'm topping this again with super gloss, super gloss. And I was supposed to say hello to people today. I've got some screenshots and some comments. I will get to them next time, I promise. Um, there was a lot more to say than I thought there would be <laughs> uh, on this one. So you can see, I, I couldn't tell whether I was catching it in the right light, but you're just getting, and I know you can tell the light line straight, so you know it's smooth, but you're getting the kind of purple glowy bits without realizing or without seeing that there's bits of paper on there. So that was quite cool. So it will be different, different paper on different colors will be different, um, but that did look quite kind of, doo -doo 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 -doo, whatever that noise means. <laughs> so these are the three that I think are worth giving a go. We've taken a trend, for example, we've taken something from London Fashion Week that you look at and think, not a chance in hell I'd leave the house looking like that. We've 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 top shopped it, you know, we've made it accessible to the masses because the other way was just awful to do. Oh, there's a sneak peek of something. Uh, but the other way, no tech who wants nails to look nice is going to do that. Uh, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel for lots more videos. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.